formations. Um, we're going to talk about, there's a basic three that we talk about, and then we'll talk about a couple other things that you do with them. Uh, the first one is this. Um, let's say you've got a triangle. Okay, if you take that triangle and you just slide it to a new position without it turning, spinning, or doing anything there, we don't call that a slide. We call it a, anybody? Translation. It's a translation. It just slides. We did this last year. We've done this a bunch. Okay. If you take your shape, if you take your shape and it spins, actually it usually spins around a point like this. Oops. 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 Okay. It spins. Rather than calling it a spin, that is a rotation. And the third thing is if you take the shape and it does this, kind of like a mirror image of itself. That's not the best, but I guess it'll work. We call that a reflection. Those are the, the three basic transformations that we talk about. What the book is going to do, though, um, is it will tell you, well, no, let's do a couple other things here. Okay. Uh, the next thing we talk about is what's called a dilation. And here's what, dilation, if you ever go to the eye doctor, Sometimes they will dilate your eyes. Basically, a dilation means it makes it bigger. And usually it means make bigger proportionately. So here is an example that they will give you. They will tell you, um, no, 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 where is it at here? Well, let's write this down. Uh, dilation makes bigger what's called a contraction. Is the opposite of that, and a contraction makes it smaller. You hear the word contraction a lot when gals are having babies, they have contractions. What that is, it's their abdomen gets tighter and smaller trying to push the baby out. Relatively painful, I hear. I'm not going to go through there. I'm going to see where. I know there's some way to tell you to do something, and I don't see what it is. Um, if I change the key to it. Okay, yeah. So here's an example. Here you've got rectangle PQRS. And they give you the dimensions of 6 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And they tell you that this rectangle is dilated, or they tell you to dilate this. By a scale factor of 3. And scale factor, what they mean by that is really scale factor by three is like the multiplier. The new, the new rectangle's dimensions are going to be three times the smaller one. 
So when you do that, your new rectangle, instead of being 4 wide, is going to be 12 centimeters wide. And instead of being 6 centimeters long, it's going to be 18 centimeters long. Now something, it's, it's time for you to start thinking just a little bit about it, okay? When you dilate something like this, how much, how many times bigger is the area of this? Everybody says three, but I want you to get that out of your head because that's not true. Let's take a look here, Wade Davis. First of all, the area of the small one, 4 times 6 is 24 centimeters squared, right? The area of the big one, if it, if in fact it was just 3 times bigger, it would be 72 for the new one. But if you look at the new one, it is 18 by 12, which is 36 and 18, 216 centimeters squared, or whatever it is. It is actually, believe it or not, nine times bigger. Now the reason for that is this. When you did, when you multiplied it by a scale factor of three, how many times you multiplied this side by three and this side by three as well? Okay, which means in actuality you made it nine times bigger because Three times three is nine. It's, it's a little hard to comprehend. If, if you would have just, maybe this makes, maybe this would make sense. Let me start with that same, here's that same rectangle, right? Let's say it was four by six, right? If I would have only multiplied one side by three, it would look like this. It would be 12 by six, correct? I only did one side by three. This is 12, this is six. How many of these rectangles do I have over there? Three of them. But I didn't just do one side times three, I multiplied the other side by three as well. So that means no longer is this six, but it is 18. And I get another one over here that you can't see. How many of these rectangles are in this thing? nine of them. So you have to kind of get in your mind that it's not always as it appears that we do that all the time in eighth grade and we'll see that later on. It's the same thing when you buy pizza. Oh uh, gosh, what else are they going to do? Maybe that is it. I don't know where they, I'm not sure we'll see what they ask you to do. I'm looking for something. Oh. No, I think that's probably going to get started. We'll run into some more problems with this that will make your life 